In this video we show you how to make a two part mold and cast a real lobster claw using composite mold, 100% reusable mold making material in composite cast urethane resin. The lobster claw was filled with sand and polymer clay was placed on the bottom to stick the claw to the bottom of the container. A mold release is used on the claw consisting of one teaspoon white glue and one cup water sprayed or wiped onto the claw. This reduces the bubble formation in the mold. The lobster claw is placed into the cup and pressed down to hold in place. The composite mold is melted in the microwave. The composite mold is melted in short intervals. The time varies based upon the amount of composite mold being melted. Spray the container with a mold release. In this case, a silicone based mold release is used, but others will work just as well. Pour the composite mold around and over the claw. Let this composite mold solidify. This part took approximately three hours to cool completely. When the composite mold becomes a flexible rubber, remove the mold from the cup. In this case, it was easiest just to cut away the cup. The mold is cut into two parts with an X-Acto knife, and the original part is taken out of the mold. We left the bottom part of the mold attached to ensure the two parts will remain aligned. At this point, the mold is complete. Spray the mold with the mold release. Use a piece of tape, in this case packing tape, but most kinds of tape will work, to hold the two parts of the composite mold mold together. Composite cast is used to make the casting. The composite cast is a two-part urethane casting resin that solidifies to a nice off-white color. Mix parts 1 and 2 together in equal amounts by weight or by volume. Stir well to ensure even mixing. Pour the composite cast into the composite mold mold. The composite cast takes approximately 20 minutes to cure. When cured to a hard off-white color plastic, remove the tape and pull out your new lobster claw. At this point, admire your creation. 
you can cast more parts with this mold. For example, we will likely use this shape for a lobster claw candle. Or, you can remelt the composite mold to make a new and exciting mold. For more information, visit CompositeMold.com and to buy the materials used in this video, visit ComposiTherm.com. Thank you for your time.